Hi friends, welcome back. We are going to be talking about static nails and the wear test. So let's just get straight into how this wear test went. So this was a PR polish. This is static nails and this polish here is little beach house. It's a really pretty like turquoisey blue color. I chose this because I love this color and it's the one that I wanted to wear for the wear test since I was going to have to wear it for a longer amount of time than I normally wear my polish. So if you haven't seen one of my wear tests, I typically just like show you me painting my nails. I do a few check-ins and then I'll do a review at the end. So I'm just going to show you all of that footage now. I haven't painted my nails in a long time for like a, what's it called? Like a manicure. But I have the primer from Static Nails. These like skinnier bottles are from their palettes. They have palettes where like they have a bunch of different colors kind of all coordinating and so they have a base and top coat in there and then these are their normal bottles um and this color is little beach house so we're gonna see how long i can wear this i actually am really excited because this is pretty much my favorite color like i literally anything that i can get it in i do so i am pretty excited to wear this for the next I don't know, week or so, but I'm gonna go in with the primer, which is like a base coat. My nails are looking a little rough. I've been swatching a lot and I had a gel mani and then I did a bunch of neons. So it's got like some color to it and then I broke this nail. So they are looking a little rough, but hopefully if I just paint them and leave them alone for a week or so, maybe they'll be a little bit better, but Static does have that really nice kind of paddle round brush that I love so much and it does look like it's in the um, base and top coat as well so that's super nice. I'm just waiting for this base coat to dry. stop getting this on my freaking hand. Oi. So the formula on these is really nice and that's what I noticed also about the first package that they had sent me. Um, I just, these are, they're just really nice, like easy to work with. They're not super thick or super thin. Um, I'm just interested obviously to see about the wear, but formula wise, these are, I mean, similar to like an OPI, a good medium kind of formula. I'm just gonna let the first coat dry and then I'll go in with a second coat. I'm pretty sure this polish will just be a two coater. It looks like it's covering it pretty well so I will be back with the second coat.
Okay, I am outside. We are at like a family vacation thing, but um, this is Saturday now, so I did this on Wednesday, I think. Um, you can see like I have my typical cracks on the side. That is like where I didn't get the top coat. Can you see that? And then there's a few little like tip wear nicks. Sorry, the wind is blowing my hair. And then same thing on my right hand just oiled. There's a few little tip wear things right there and then my regular cracks that I get on the side. So overall not terrible. Um, I'll update when we get home maybe tomorrow. Okay it is Sunday and we are back home now. The left hand isn't looking terrible. I've got a lot of cracks. I just packed a bunch of orders, so my hands are really dry. But no major chips on this side. My poor right hand has been through it. So there's a major chip here that came like last night, I think. Kind of a little chip on the edge. Um, overall, not terrible, but there's definitely a lot of cracks in a lot of my fingers. But yeah. So as you saw from like me putting on the polish, it has a really, really nice wide brush, which I love. The application was super easy, super great. Um, this is the first wear test that I'm doing where I use the base coat and the top coat for the brand. And um, I'm wondering if it would be different if I used my regular base coat and top coat instead of the brands and see how like the chemistry of the polishes work together. But um, yeah, I mean, overall it was fine. There was nothing that was like super, super bad. I feel like when I it comes to my ranking, the finish was pretty bad. Like I don't feel like the top coat really helped or did anything for the manicure. So I would say that on that, I'll probably give it like, like a five. It was just fine. I feel like it cracked pretty much. Like it cracked like on all of my fingers, which normally happens, but sometimes it like takes a few days to get there. These were cracking by Saturday, so um, yeah, I think for finish I'll give it like a 5. For the overall feeling, I really, really liked this color, and I didn't feel like I had to like work with the polish so much to make the manicure look nice with the nice color. So for the feeling, I felt really good wearing this. I feel like I would give it like an 8. Overall, I'm going to give the Static Nails Wear Test like a 6. I just didn't, I loved the color, I loved the formula, the application, and everything like that, but I don't feel like the manicure lasted as long as like, I feel like they say that the manicure should be lasting, or as long as it should with some other polishes that I have tried. I like the polishes a lot. Um, the formula is really nice, but I don't particularly think that they will last longer than a work week, a five, five days maybe. Um, and that was on me who I don't really do a whole lot with my hands, so it could be even shorter. Um, but yeah, so not a, a super great one for this wear test, but the colors and the formula and everything are great. So if you're interested in trying those out, I would definitely look at their website and see what they have. They have all kinds of different things and like little color palettes with like mini bottles of polish. They're like circular. Um, you saw the the base and top coat they come in like a palette of colors so you don't have to have like a whole bottle of nail polish and they also have um like sticker like nail stickers too so you could definitely try those i've heard great things about the nail stickers but yes that is my static nails wear test i hope that you enjoyed um i'm gonna continue to do more wear tests i'm gonna try to do some more like variations on old brands that I have done before once I get through what I feel like is enough of the brands. So let me know down below what brand you would like me to do next and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching!